Hello everybody, <clears throat> excuse me again. My name is Mr. Mokalever and thank you for joining me in this Let's Play. So I was kind of experimenting with a couple of things and I don't think I can really declare war on anybody else realistically. I mean I could take over Bulgaria but they eventually will become my puppet so I, think, I don't think I'll do that. These guys however I'm going to put these guys against France. And their goal will be to, uh, let's say, take like here. Once, of course, the war breaks out. Okay, and you guys frontline it. Should I declare um, war on Bulgol Bulgaria? Bulgaria or not? Let me think about that real quick. Well, I assign some of my factories. A lot more of this. Let's go with plus air supports. More artillery. I guess naval bombers. All right. Uh, actually, let's go with all of these planes. I think it's going to hold out for now. That'll be fine. Hold. Uh, let's see. Good. I don't think anyone's moving, so. Double check. Well, if I declare, if I annex Bulgaria, what would happen? Is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing? I also want to convert these guys to more mountaineer soldiers. Honestly, I could probably hold off on attacking. Because I definitely need more stockpiles of everything. I'm almost 13,000 infantry equipment short of what I need. With these people, I have one, two, three. Separate them off. Put them under a new guy, because we're shipping these off to National Spain next. Well, let's see. Wow, these guys need a lot of goods. Um, you guys. They're against France. Let's see. Turkey, maybe? If we go to war with the Allies, we'll probably eventually take over Turkey. Let's not attack Bulgaria. And these guys. I can split them in half. And one could go to northern France and northern Africa, and the other one could go to the United Kingdom. Let's put these guys actually hold. And go up there. You guys will be... take half of the U and split in half. You guys will be under the command of... Italo Balbo. I'm gonna wait to extend National Spain some more soldiers. You? Rodolfo Gra Graziani. Your goal is the front line here. And to help take out France nor and their North Africa stuff here. And you shall front line it here against Cairo. Or eventually you will take Cairo. Like that. Alright, so we want a new theater. How do I do a new theater? Right there. Let's call this one Africa. And by Africa, I of course mean. Africa. Uh, let's call this uh, Africa Fun Army. Oops. The Fun Army of Africa. And let's put them down here as well. And we'll call this the. Uh, hmm. The other one's Fun. This one is Spontaneous Army. That looks good. All right. Then I have three more divisions. That eh, let's go back to Rome. And twenty more divisions will come to guard our French borders. All right. Other than that, let's keep going. So production, civilians. Uh, I'm gonna trade some. Oh, there goes field hospitals. Very nice. Recon is going to be important as well. But what do I have? bonus for currently. Bonuses. Bonuses. 
Hmm, naval doctrine. Any other bonuses? Probably not, huh? Marines? I'm going to need Marines eventually. I'll probably do an, a sea lion operation against the UK, and if you don't know what that means, I'm going to probably try to invade them eventually. Naval doctrine? Sub detection? Battleship cruiser organization? Yeah, let's go with that. And... I definitely need to trade for some resources. 1.23 years to help overall. I'll, let's trade four more civilian factories. So let's go with three oils. So up to five. And then need at least eh, one more steel. All right. That should help us at least a little bit. Help us get through the battleship. And then once that's done... On September 18th... Then we'll have a bunch more resources for everything else. And let us call everyone back home. Home, you shall go home, and you shall go home. 50 subs, wow. Reduction... So they can have some destroyers, destroyers, convoys, very nice. And we have 102 factories. More political power per day. Civilian factories need to be made faster and faster and faster. Ooh, there goes carrier effort. Now we can research some carriers. Triumph in Africa would be okay. Not necessarily needed, though. Your friend Bulgaria would be good. Albanian occupation gives a tiny tiny bit more factories we'll go with Italy first but is there any real reason to go here not yet submarine effort would be good I definitely need more oil so let's go with that let's go with more infrastructure to begin with and I believe this guy does yeah infrastructure construction as well as civilian speed increases because right now we just need a bunch more civilian factories so we can trade them we can use them and then we're gonna go for a uh, radar once we finish researching it oh and there goes radio like boom right there oh now we can start researching it so we can start building it as we replenish our supplies of equipment all right so national Spain they might need a little help Looking good. I mean, at least I will send one more, one more civilian factories for one more steel. Just one more. All right. Amelia Earhart circumnavigates the globe. That's nice. Good for you. So this way, I at least I'm producing a lot of infantry equipment to make up for that huge deficit I have. Oh, and almost everything's positive now. Leadership purge in the Soviet Union? Uh-oh. That doesn't sound good. You guys definitely need a lot more motorized and a lot more light tanks. Right, just you, These people can stop here in Venice. Oh, concentrated. Concentrated? Concentrated industry. Nice. Uh, let's go with more construction speed and repair speed. Italian highways. So this should help out with the production of everything. Nice. Everything is going positive. Japan will soon declare war on China. Hmm, not bad overall. Construction. Finishing up some of the repairs of the infrastructure in Slovenia. Slovenia. Sure. Hmm, other than that, I, mean, I guess we could go with dockyards eventually, but I think we have enough for now. We'll conquer a lot more. We just have to get through uh, the repair or the building of this last battleship. Ooh, Italian highways finished. Nice. So we can get for some more oil, and then we'll go down probably the go down a different tree for stuffs. Did that give me? Oh, I actually constructed another factory. Nice. How long is this going to take to repair? Alright, not too long. And the battleship is almost done. 
up until the 14th. So. Oh, battle feet, battle feet, <laughs> battle fleet concentration. Oh, uh, we don't need that one yet. Destroyer detection, escort efficiency, submarine detection. And let's go with uh, probably this one next. Did I go with anybody? Do I get any bonuses? Anything yet? No, so it doesn't matter. 37. Resources could be good. Synthetic oil would be really good as well. Let's go with uh, increasing our production efficiency gap first, though. And then we'll get some support weapons. Ooh, there we go. We got the dockyard done. Let's increase this to three. And then... Increase it. How many do I have left? Eight. So about four each. Nice. Which means we can probably, honestly, eight per year, we can lower our oil usage down probably by one. That's fine with me. So we get at least one more civilian factory to build up more stuff. Now we need lower by one so we can buy some more rubber. British Malaysia, Raj, Siam. Uh, if I have to support somebody, I guess it'll be the Dutch East Indies. So now everything is getting really nice. Nice and organized. Now it's time to edit everything and screw everything else up. So, I screwed this up early on. This should be changed to light tanks. Okay, that's actually not too bad. That's still 20 width. We'll save that. We're going to need a lot more stuff. Of course, we will support artillery, engineer company. Uh, field hospital, we don't really lose too much with this. So we're not going to add that. So let's go with that. And that looks really good. All right, so our infantry mountaineers. Let's go with infantry first. This looks pretty bad. We're going to support this by adding some artillery. And one more infantry. Cost of 15. It's pretty good. It's going to cost a lot more infantry equipment and artillery, but that soft attack will go up by a lot. Our support attack, and we have to have field hospitals. Nice. That's a very good division to have. Very good division template. And we'll basically do the same with uh, our mountaineers. Mountaineers. Add some artillery. And add a field hospital. So we have an extra 18 XP army XP left. <clears throat> Excuse me. We want as much tanks out as fast as we can, and the other two are okay. So we have a big deficit now of equipment. Great. And I still can't send these guys because they have a, a lack of goods. Which is to be expected, but the Civil War won't end anytime soon. Still 1937. Ah, I love water. Uh, something good would be... Do I get a bonus for researching support companies? Support artillery? Yeah, recon. That's really good. Ooh, double research bonus for land doctrine. Paratroopers, mountain, armor, uh, planes. Oh, there's so much I need to go for. This would be good to get, eventually. I'll probably go with light ships of two... Convoy selling, eh, that's okay. Subs, that's okay. Air innovations. Other than that, uh, what do I want to get next? Nothing probably for engineering, so let's go maybe something engineering or uh, industry. That would be good. Get us a lot more extra rubber and stuff like that. Let's take a look at our, uh, not construction, but production. Yeah. Well, how many actual bonuses do I have? One for naval doctrine and two for carrier models. Ooh. Actually, that's a really good idea. Let's go with carriers first. Missing equipment production, tactical bombers, I don't care. Nice. Oh, now we're producing quite a few light tanks. Quite a lot more infantry and stuff. Uh-oh. Looks like something might happen in Asia soon. Oh! Never mind. Wow. I guess the Chinese uh, gave in 
to the Japanese demands and they ceded all this territory, huge mistake. If you totally check out my uh, other videos, my China uh, gameplay, because I conquered pretty much all the Axis and Communists of the world. So that was actually a lot of fun. Uh, military and dockyards? Probably not. Not conversion speed. That would be good, but I don't need that at the moment. Compassionate gentleman, fascist demagogue, smooth talker. Well, let's see. What am I going to research heavily next? So next year is 1938, which means a lot of engineering would be good. Because I'm going to get all this finished. Let's go with engineering. Industrial? Industrial. Uh, air experience gain? Naval theorists. Well, maybe I can't. Yeah, maybe I can't go engineering. What else is 1938 tech? Uh, infantry equipment would be okay. Support companies would be great. Armor? Not necessarily, not necessary at the moment. Artillery? Not necessary. Naval stuff? All I'm going to use is carriers, submarines, and destroyers. This stuff, but I don't need that yet. Um, yeah. None of this either. Well, let's just choose something that makes us feel good. How about that? Something that makes us feel good. Armor reliability? That's good. Armor reliability is actually really good in this game. Fighters? Air research time. Max speed, carrier fighters. Well, since we're still in peace, let's go here and non-core manpower or build military factories faster. Let's go with this because we'll have a lot of uh, manpower needs. So now we get uh, 1.33 thousand per month of manpower, which will help out, of course. Not much, but over time, it'll add up. Prospect for oil. Okay. I mean, things are looking really good for us. Uh, whoops, I guess these guys never returned home. Is that Calabria? You guys. Tuscany. Oh, you guys are here. And we're, I probably had my other navy somewhere here. Somewhere here. Where are these guys? New? No. Here. You guys. You can go to Sicily. Alright. We can go max speed. Max speed. Let's see. Yeah, my focus is going to finish first. Still not sending my guys over to Spain to help out yet. Because it costs resources and a little bit of manpower. Oh, nice. We have a manpower increase. Wow, exactly 400,000 manpower? Can I get a like for for achieving that goal? <laughs> Ooh, Libyan infrastructure doesn't matter. Libyan refineries? So we get a production of four in Benghazi and two synthetic refineries. That'll really help us out. Uh, so let's go with that next. Extra rubber, extra oil. I mean, who wouldn't, right? Who wouldn't go with that? And in two weeks, we'll have carriers done, first carrier, and then we'll have some time to build some radar. Nice. And radar is finished. It's 1937, 241 days, wow. I don't want too much of a penalty. Uh, resource efficiency gain could be good. But, you know, let's go with something like this. It's fine. Almost done with the carriers. Just kind of speeding on through for now. And, oops. and there we go with Giuseppe Maraglia class. So, we definitely want in Piedmont. Probably Sardinia, Sicily. Uh, Crete would be good. Probably one up here in Vojvodina. Probably one here in Thrace. Probably one on each side here. 
Oops. Wrong one. Oh well. And probably one, if not two, here down in the Ethiopia area. Eventually, these these won't do nothing for us at start, but they will become very extremely useful as time goes on. And I'll put one here in Rome just in case. All right. Oh. Let's go with the next carriers. Well, and then we'll start building some carriers, because that oil will come in handy. Nice. Which means I'll probably need some uh, some more dockyards, actually. Did I get the guy that gets his dockyard? Damn it, no. No, we must have finished a uh, destroyer. Yep, or something, because our manpower went down by a little bit. Hmm. Uh, construction. How long does it take? Okay. A bit less time than that. Let's go with uh, put one Dalmatia in Ven Venetia. That'd be fine. And there goes the uh, Civil War. Not Civil War. The, oh my gosh. The Japanese, Chinese, oh god. China, you did it to yourself. You shouldn't have given Japan all that. Because Japan just landed two more naval invasions here in near Hangzhou. And Xiamen. Should have had me play as China. Their mistake. All right, let's take a look at stockpiles again. Let's look at these tanks. Okay. National Spain hasn't really moved. Fine with us. It's almost 1938 as well. Oh, manpower went up. Pretty good. We'll attack France when Germany attacks France as well through the Maginot or Maginot. Maginot? I don't know how to pronounce it. When they go through the Benelux region. But for now, we're, we're just kind of chilling. Having a good time. Helping out our Libyan resources. Making some refineries. Happy 1938! Wow! That is one big encirclement they are trying to do. And getting beaten back. Nice! So, let's take a look real quick. We have extra oil. So we don't need all this extra oil at the moment. So we can get one more factory to help us produce stuff. Libyan refineries. Infrastructure doesn't matter. Fortification is actually very important. But we don't need that at the moment. Uh, let's see. Triumph in Africa. That would be good to maybe start befriending B Bulgaria. Light ships. Eh, let's destroy your stuff. Escorts. Mm, air innovations. Support artillery. Let's go with Triumph Africa. Right. It's looking pretty good. Slowly improving our stockpile of everything. And we have, now we can make a surplus of close air support. We have exactly one extra close air support plane. Mobile defense finished. I believe, if I remember correctly, that this one of these is going to give us bonus to land doctrine. There we go. Two for land doctrine. So what we could do is save two land doctrine spots. We're going to go with integrated support eventually, so we can go all the way down. But let's check out industry and other things first. Let's go with uh, research time. And we have a week until improved machine tools is finished. Do we have any sort of forts here along the border? N no. We need to get that focus eventually. Improved machine tools, very nice. Let's go with bigger radar, bigger, bolder radar. And then we'll get more construction. Should come in handy. Big time. Construction's good. Engineering is good. 1938, any bonuses? Doesn't look like it. For now, it's mostly just kind of hanging out. Oh, these would be good, but I'm probably going to go with excavation. Trade, because we can extract a lot. 10% doesn't seem like much, but it, having it now instead of trading civilian factories would be good. 
And there goes the Anschluss of Italy. Uh, Italy? No, 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 no. Do not Anschluss Italy. Anschluss Austria. Whew. My game almost just ended. Nice. Convoy sailing is finished. I'm going with these, going with these. This would be nice, but that doesn't have to be immediate. Uh, let's just go with some more integrated support. Because we're going to have a lot of support companies with each of our little groups here. How's the training going? Okay, so we're just waiting on equipment. What are we waiting for? Light tanks? Towed artillery? Okay. So, modify our government again. Aircraft? Aircraft. Um... 1940s, 1938. So infantry equipment would be a good choice. Engineering would be a good choice, but we don't have that option. You know, I could go industry and prepare myself with these two and then get the next row. Let's go with industry. Right, wrong one. Let's go with industry. Danielle. Because right now, we're getting a surplus of men every month. I'm loving this. Oh! Oh, and there goes this. So we are going to need that extra oil big time now. We're going to hold off on producing level 2 subs. Naval Doctrine. We're going to triumph in Africa. And then we'll probably go for air innovations. After that. Probably. So, Triumph in Africa, then Air Innovations, because we need to research some more industry, so we can extract a few more resources. Let's go with Synthetic Oil. So, with that in mind, each... I'm going to need to get to Air Innovations fast, so we can make some carrier planes. Can I improve this carrier at all? Deck Space? Deck Space would probably be the best thing we could do. 90... 55. Okay. Not bad. Uh, you can add one more and one more armor. Uh, they shouldn't get hit at all. Eight. That's fine. I'm going to make carrier class. Actually, we're going to put this at the top because we have enough of those at the moment. Take off three. Take, make sure each get only get three and we'll put them in first naval squadron. Alright, so I'm going to end this episode here. Uh, for now, it's mostly just build up, stockpiling weapons for the war to come. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you like, favorite, share, and comment. And guys, I will see you in the next one.